Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com with a full 12 box case break of 2022 uh, top, yeah, tops Bowman Chrome Baseball. Pick your team number 20, all 12 boxes, all cards shipped. Big thanks to this group for making it happen, appreciate it. Here on Monday the 19th, if you have a rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in the filler. Warwick, you ended up with Last Spot Mojo, that's the star next to your name with the Tiger. 70% of the time, Last Spot Mojo hits 100% of the time according to Jaspi Legend. I'm not sure if we've actually kept track of that. All right, and here is the case. And let's get to it. All sealed up nice. Just talking with, uh, some of you may remember Thomas. He used to work here for a while before we went off to uh, Cal State Fullerton to play baseball. Now he's back for winter break, logging in some hours, helping us out during the holiday season, during the winter season. Starting pitcher, Cal State Fullerton. Hopefully, you might see him in a Bowman Chrome product someday, which would be awesome. Thomas and I would joke around that like the pinnacle of his achievement would just to be in a in a set in a Bowman set and then just and then just hang it up. Just started uh, did the JUCO thing and then just started Cal State Fullerton this fall winter break now and then. Uh, We'll get into season starts in in February, Feb to May. We'll see how he does. We'll try to we'll try to see if we can see some of his starts. So he, I mean, Cal State Fullerton, they'll, they'll be playing uh, all the all the big teams in Southern California. They're they'll be playing Cal State Fullerton, which is a big baseball school. And that's where Justin Turner came out of. We'll be playing USC. We'll be playing Long Beach as well. All solid baseball programs. All right, first auto, Dylan Dodd. And I'll do an autograph recap towards the end of this. That'll be for Michael and the Braves. We got Yasser Mercedes, Yas, 107 out of 125. Nice one for the Twins. That's going to go to Simon Meyer and the Twins. Let's see some of these O'Neill Cruz cards as well. An all cards ship, of course. So if I happen to slide by anything, don't worry. It'll get to you. CJ Rodriguez. We'll definitely take care of these autos right now, though. That will be for Scott Goodman and the A's. Won that team in the team random. Yerlin Confidant to 499. Henry with the Reds. We got Samuel Zavala, 204 out of 250. Christian Vaccaro. So some names here. Purple Shimmer for the Padres goes to Eric. Jeremy Pena's will go to Stephen Carney and the Strohs. And the Jason Curios will go to Cleveland. That'll be for Ed P. Also looking for his brother Jackson Curio. Who does everyone have in this uh, in this Rams at Packers game? I think Packers are laying minus seven and a half now. Uh, 
That game's about to kick off pretty soon. Gilo, what do you need here? You need the Packers defense to score 20 points to keep your fantasy playoffs alive. Now, how many points do you start off with when the game starts? Start off with ten, okay. So you're gonna need you're gonna need help, right? You're gonna need turnovers. Like what are you what are you gonna need from the Packers? If it's twenty points, do you need multiple turnovers, interceptions? How's that how's that scoring work out? There's Mason Hour for Tampa Bay, that'll be for Michael F. and the Rays. Got Andrew Vaughn, Purple Chrome, to 250. Before the White Sox, Henry with the White Sox. I think he might get a little, little more run out there. In Chicago. It's unlikely, but multiple, why is it unlikely? Now, weather might be an issue, cold hands, you know, maybe there could be some fumble recoveries. Joe Ryan to 299 for the Twins, that'll be for Simon. Baker Mayfield known to turn the ball over every once in a while. There's Jake Rucker for the Twins, Simon. Bryson Stott, 14 out of 199 for the Phillies. I think our defensive scoring I think starts at like 20 points and then goes backwards. Like so, like if the defense scores zero to 20 points or, or if the opponent, opponent scores like zero to 20 points, that's like, or zero to ten points, maybe you'll still retain the full twenty plus turnovers. But then after ten points, it'll drop to like I don't know ten base points, and then so on and so forth. Oh, Jack! I like what you're doing here. Jack's saying Thomas will make it onto a Bowman Chrome card as long as he stays on tops of his game, becomes their finest pitcher. He doesn't give up too many upper deck home runs into the stadium club section of the ballpark. That's right, absolutely right. I think the boss man, Mike Jasperson, I think he's seen Thomas at a at a JUCO game last year. I have not seen Thomas pitch outside of outside of uh, YouTube videos, not live anyway, so I've not been able to fully scout him. But he was just saying he, he's got the he's got the fastball into the mid 90s, about 95, which is pretty solid. Says his best secondary pitch would be the uh, would be the um, what call it? Would this be his changeup, which is solid? But he said he's got a, got a slider, he's got a little splitty, so. Uh, one, AJ. Edison Paulino, 40 to 100, atomic refractor for Boston. That's going to be for Wade. But yeah, we're all rooting for Thomas. We hope, I mean, really, we obviously want him to reach the majors, but hey, we just want him to stay healthy. As long as he can do that. It's Alexis Hernandez for the Cubs, by the way. That would be for Chris Parent. As long as he does that, then 
Anything could happen, you know? Oh, yeah. We, he's, been, he's, he's worked here at the shop long enough. You know, where, where he knows that he doesn't want to be a redemption, you know, in this set. Forty-three out of one hundred and fifty. B.J. Murray Jr. Blue parallel, little lava in the background. Color match. Cubbies. Chris Parent. Henry. I am doing well. Will there be more Bowman Chrome? Oh, that makes me sad, Henry, because that means you don't look at our website. Fifty out of one hundred and ninety-nine. Randy Arizarena. Henry. This we're doing. Pick your team twenty right now. Pick your team twenty-one already loaded up. Team selling. As we speak, jazbeescasebreaks.com, Bobby Wood Jr., another full case is up, another 12 boxer is up. No fillers, too. All teams available. Colson Montgomery, 249 to 250. Purple Shimmer for the White Sox, that'll be four. That's for you, Henry. Might have to, Gilo. Might have to. I will assure you, Thomas will not be a redemption to any of these products. He knows better. I think he'll be he'll be working here winter break maybe uh, maybe help us out a bit in the summer as well possibly so if he does get to a point where he's signing maybe we'll uh, you know maybe we'll let him sign some cards here during some Jaspie's downtime. And we got Jason Curio. Nice. That is for the Guardians. Ed. Cleveland, this is for you. Nice one. There's Byron Buxton, 17 out of 50. No Panini College draft picks. No, man. We wanted to sign as sign as many products as possible. That's money in the bank. We want Tom to get paid. We want him to sign as much as his arm allows, as much as his hand allows. Tanner McDougal. White Sox, Henry. There you go, Henry, with the White Sox on the board. Pete Crow Armstrong Refractor, 426 out of 499, Cubs. Julio Rodriguez, rookie card. George Vela, these shimmers are not numbered, by the way. But all card ship. Julio will go to Devon and Seattle. Pete Crow Armstrong will be for the Cubs. That's going to be for Chris from the Cubs.
Baker Mayfield found a little little bit of new life in a, in a Rams uniform, maybe. He's driving. Yeah, I don't quite know why the Panthers let him go either. I don't think he was being paid that much money. He's on a maybe a one, two year deal maybe. It's not like he was really a, a burden on their cap. They weren't really going anywhere. We might as well just keep playing and see what we can get out of him. We've got a Spencer Torkelson rookie card. Oh. Look at that. Uh, no, he took the sack. Oh, I thought he was going to get out of it. Warwick with the Tigers and uh, Michael with the Rays. And the autograph is Cooper Bowman. 241 out of 499. Bowman out of Bowman Chrome. Cooper Bowman Chrome going to the Yankees. That'll be for Oliver Soria. There's Alec Thomas, green for the Diamondbacks to 99. And a Roderick Arias. Roderick Arias for uh, Oliver and the Yankees. Michael with the Diamondbacks. All right, no way Sam Darnold or Rookie's going to do much better, but not quite sure what. I don't know if there's any Carolina Panthers fans out there. Or someone who's in the in that area. There's Rosemont Verdugo to 4.99. But what are the Panthers trying to do? Are they going to draft a quarter quarterback? That's what they're going to do. Yankil Fernandez for Wade and the Rockies. There's Eddie's Leonard, 89 out of 150 for the Dodgers. That'll be for Simon. And the Twins, Eddie's Leonard will go to Peter and the Dodgers. I guess currently, uh, it's going to be interesting how the how the draft is going to shake out. Um, currently, Carolina, according to Tankathon.com, Carolina's in the eight spot. Are there, will there be quarterbacks left at eight? What are the who are the who are the quarterbacks that people are going for this year? Are there three three quarterbacks? Maybe four. Houston has the number one overall pick. Uh, yeah, uh, Caleb Williams. He's he's at USC. Heisman guy maybe. But Houston is Houston getting a quarterback? I mean, Davis Mills. I feel like looks pretty good. If maybe they put some some weapons around something around him, I feel like he's really not operating with with, with much. There's Daniel Vasquez for Kansas City. Michael for the Royals. I 
feel like he looks all right out there. If he had like a supporting cast, I mean, I don't even, I don't know if you know putting a uh, you know putting a quarterback on that team is going to be any different from what Davis Mills can give you. Yeah, he's really not that bad, right? That's what I think too. It's Henry Davis to one ninety nine. I mean, it's not like a number one overall quarterback is going to do too much, you know, too much differently. I mean, Houston's basically not a, not a, there's not a quarterback away or they're not going to get too many results. Why not take that number one pick, get like a offensive tackle or a defensive end that's going to be on that team, you know, for the next 10 years or something like that. You know, and then maybe piece together some weapons for... I mean, they got a. They have the Cleveland pick at 13. So they, I think they have a lot of picks too. You know, give them a wide receiver or something. Here's Kyle Lewis for Seattle. That's for Devin to 2.99, and the autograph is Daniel McIlvenny, 81 out of 150, blue. I think lava. I think is what they call it. Boston Wade. There you go, Wade. In Chula Vista, California, just south, of, a little bit south of San Diego. Jazz Chisholm to 199 for Miami. That'll be for Michael. I thought that was going to be a red parallel, but I think it's going to end up being. Magenta Shimmer, James Triantos, 105 out of 199 for Cubs. Cubs, Chris with the Cubbies. I know it's a baseball break, but a little light on baseball news, I think, right? And it'll be traderumors.com. I don't think anything really crazy. I think Danzy Swanson might have been the last big, big news, big bit of baseball transactional news. Uh, going back to the NFL draft board, Chicago's at two at the moment. This is as of now, according to tankathon.com. Chicago is two, but they're not getting a quarterback. They got. Uh, they have Justin Fields. Uh, Denver is in the third spot, but that pick goes to Seattle. Seattle could have the third. They had a solid season, real strong season this year. Do they go quarterback? I mean, the Geno Smith story is great. And, you know, he might still be able to play another couple of years, but... Do you put like a young quarterback back there? Get him to marinate a little bit? Yeah, marinate behind Geno Smith for another season or two before unleashing him? I think Seattle goes quarterback, right? Um, fourth pick is Arizona. Now, poor Kyler Murray. He's out with an ACL just the other week. And... Um, I mean, that's like what a twelve month injury, twelve month surgery, rehab, recovery, rug recovery, rehab time. That's about twelve months. I guess some players could do it sooner, but he's missing training camp. He's missing a good chunk of the season, et cetera, et cetera. So I wonder, I wonder if uh, if do they go quarterback? No, they probably they can't. They're probably going offensive line. You're going to stick with Colt McCoy next year. There's Danny De Andrade, 63 out of 100. Greg, what's going on? How are you? Twins autograph for Simon. Does Cliff King, is Cliff Kingsbury still the coach? See, there, there might be some. Oh, yeah, maybe they can, maybe Gilo, good point. Maybe they get uh, they get Baker Mayfield and stick him there for for a season or two. There's Jason Curio, nice to 125. 
For Cleveland, that'll be for Ed. All right, so no QB for Arizona. You think Cliff's going to be around, though? And, ooh, look at this. Wander Franco Bowman Ascensions. That's, that's the uh, one per case. Unfortunately, a little dent right there. Don't like that. Probably during the manufacturing process, but still goes to you, Michael, and the Rays. Devin, what's up? Geno's 32. Seattle goes D-line. Front seven needs help. So Devin's saying no QB possibility for Seattle. All right, fair. There's Luis Meza, Gold Shimmer, 29 out of 50. All right. Let's keep going down the list. What about Rams are in the number five spot, but that goes to Detroit. I'm part of that Jared Goff deal. Do, does the, do the Rams go with a quarterback? Or are they thinking Jared Goff, that they can, Jared Goff serviceable? It's been, I mean, that offense has been looking pretty good. Here's another Ray for Michael. Estelani Castillo. Nice. Michael won the Rays in that filler. There's Warming Burnaball, 102 out of 125. Yeah, you think Lions get a quarterback maybe? Or do they stick with Jared Goff? Yeah, maybe they stick with Jared Goff for a little bit, Gilo's thinking. Just keep improving that, that, uh, that defense. All right. I think it's going to be a very interesting draft. Yeah, I, I don't know. I think Goff must have a few more years left on his deal, right? So maybe they'll just stick with him and just keep improving the defense. Uh, pick six. As of now, they were, this is if the season ended today. Colts are in the sixth spot. Do they go for a quarterback? I feel like they might might have to. I don't know if the they definitely need a QB. Yeah, the Matt Ryan experiment didn't work, and I just don't think they're gonna. Are they gonna take a chance on another? Are they gonna take a chance on like Baker Mayfield and try to go from there? Ooh, the draft is in KC. You'll see. We'll see you on ESPN. Gilo saying, "Are you going to be like right up there against the stage in the fan zone and all that?" Ooh, nice one, Greg. Yeah, Gilo, if you're if you're confirmed gonna be in there. Oh, when they call your name, I see. Gilo, what's your uh, what's your height, weight, and four forty time, or and your forty yard dash time? Uh, Mike, I'll send you uh, the wrapper, and sometimes they ask, I've heard them sometimes ask for that stamp, too. So we'll send you both, and you can use this video if you need the, the evidence, too. All right, we got Jaden Rudd. Paul Rudd's brother, that's going to go to Toronto, Stephen S. I don't think he's Paul Rudd's brother. But... All right. Leo Perguero. Shades of Greatness Atomic Refractor, that's going to be for... Uh, 
Mark L. and the Pirates, 98 out of 150. Gilo's 5'7", not winning at the height department, but Casey needs a small speedster with your 3940 speed. Wow. <laughs> like a, this is almost like a, like a track star. So are, are you saying you're gonna be, you, you see yourself as what? As a, a sort of a slot receiver with blazing speed? 108 out of 499, Jake Berger. Michael Garcia. It's Michael with the Royals. Jake Berger refractor for Henry and the White Sox. Joey Weimer to 125 for the Brew Crew. That'll be for Michael. A little Cheetah 2.0 action, huh? Oh, and another Bowman Ascensions. This time Christian Hernandez. Sometimes you can get two. These are generally one per case, though. Chris Parent, Cubs, with a spot that he won in the filler. Nice. Now, maybe if you if you can get to. Uh, Gilo, if you can maybe get to uh, maybe get to like Maurice Jones Jew weight and still retain that three nine speed, uh, that could be pretty good. Right, there you go, yeah, muscle hamster 2.0 maybe. You know, build up that weight, build up that muscle, stay low to the ground. I mean, there could be some, a uh, couple uh, screen passes here and there. And with that speed, you'd, you'd, be, you'd be off to the races. Who's gonna catch you? How are your hands, Gio? Are you working the jugs machines? We're getting into the final third of the case, ladies and gentlemen. Making some good time here. Got a busy night ahead of us, so keep an eye on that schedule. But even after we run through all of those breaks on the schedule, we will still have some time to continue on. So keep filling up those breaks. That hip parade, probably a good option. Hit Parade, Jaspi exclusive. Check that out, jaspiescasebreaks.com. TJ Friedel, 12 out of 50, gold. Henry with the Reds. We got a Benny Montgomery, 16 out of 75, yellow for the Rockies. Wade with the Rocks. And Miguel Cabrera, 006 out of 150. That will be for Warwick and Detroit. I don't know, if I had the ability to, to play uh, in the NFL, I don't know if I would, I don't think I'd want to be an offensive player. I don't know if I, there's Benjamin Coles, I don't know if I want to get hit. But I think I would enjoy doing the hitting. There's Benjamin Coles for uh, the Yankees, Oliver Soria. There's Christian Hernandez, Speckle, 152 out of 299. And I feel like, uh, and here's a green shimmer, Averson Arteaga, 8 out of 99 for Wade and the Giants. 
Yeah, no, I don't want to get hit. I want to do the hitting, though. I, I, want it. I want to be on the defensive side of the ball. Also, I think uh, the offense is too regimented. There's too, too, many, too many, you have to be a little too exact. I feel like with defense, there's a little more, little more leeway to, uh, to be a little, to be a little more, uh, to improvise a little bit, a little bit more. Basically, I think I'd be a good, uh, good middle linebacker. This way. I mean, I'd, I'd have to to grow a little bit and maybe uh, add on a bunch of muscle. But if it were me, then I would. Uh, I think I'd be a middle linebacker. Wow. Oh. Are, are you here right now, Tradia? You met Justin Houston once, and he was the biggest human being you've met in your life. Oh, I was mid-intro, okay. All right, next time, next time. Justin Houston is 6'3", 6 listed at 6'3", 270. Wow. I mean, 6'3 is not gigantic this way, but 6'3 at 270. Uh, does Carolina get a quarterback? Carolina's in the eighth spot. Maybe they will get a quarterback. There's Eric Hernandez, 74 out of 250. Purple Chrome autograph for the White Sox. That's for Henry. New Orleans is at nine, but that pick goes to Philadelphia. Philly's not getting a quarterback. Defense, maybe. Keep adding to their depth. Three out of 99, there's a Michael Hernandez that's gonna to go to Baltimore. That'll be for Simon. Green Bay at 10 currently. Are they getting a quarterback? Should really give Jordan Love some more looks and see what they got in him. There's Juan Guerrero for the Rockies. That's for Wade. What up, Jonathan? That's right. That's what I do. And Justin Houston shook, shook G-Lo's hand. Squeeze it pretty good, thought you were gonna die. Yeah, the, the hand size is something like, I think most people can conceptualize, you know, like the height and weight of, of, a, of a football player, but it's hard to, it's hard to just really get, get a good understanding unless you meet some of these athletes and shake their hand to get a good understanding of how large their hands are. All right, the penultimate box. Yeah, Yasiel Pui was pretty, pretty big. And um, I think the scary thing about him too was not only was he big, Not only was he big, but he, he could run too. Was that an Aaron Rodgers pick? Yes. 
He's rolling his eyes, he's shaking his head, he's walking off the field. Let's see. Here's... Is that... Oof. Yeah, he was just way over through. Uh, 13, who's 13? Oh, Alan Lazard. I don't know if Alan was supposed to be, was supposed to keep going. What do you think that was? Do you think that was Alan, Alan Lazard? Kind of stop for no reason. Yeah, I think it's more on Allen's fault, really. Because Allen Lazard, if this is the line of scrimmage, he kind of bled across here and looked like he was supposed to turn up the field, but he kind of bled across if this is the line of scrimmage, that crease right there. He kind of slowed down and sort of stopped right around here, and by then Aaron Rodgers had the ball over here. It looked like he was supposed to kind of keep bleeding across the field and then go up. There's Luis Chevalier, Seattle. Yeah, that's my on-screen chalkboard right there. We'll break down the NFL plays during a baseball break. Reversal. Devin with the Mariners. There you go, Devin. This is the kind of added value you get here at Jaspies. Ellie Dela Cruz. 48 out of 250. Full disclosure, I have not played organized football at any level. I've not, I've not coached organized football at any level. That's my disclaimer. But I have watched a lot of NFL in my day. Logged in many, many hours. All right, there's some Vaquero for Mark and the Nats. Some O'Neill Cruz for Mark and the Pirates. And Jason Curio for Ed and Cleveland. So Willie Vasquez, Tampa Bay. <laughs> I, wish I, had, I wish I had more dice, Grizzlebees, and I might be able to do that to break down the the failed lateral play from the Patriots game. It's Marcelo Meyer, 168 out of 199 for Boston. It's going to go to Wade. Although those dice are two different colors. But I, I, I need some more of those. Yeah, Jonathan can break that down into one word. A non-family friendly word for this family friendly show. So Green Bay's at 10. I don't know if they're going to get a quarterback. Vegas at 11. Are they getting a quarterback? I don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if they did, but but if, you know, I'm not the GM, but if I if I were the GM then Obviously, I'm not the GM. Uh, you know, then I'd maybe think about. Uh, you know, then I'd maybe think about just. It's just. So many, Derek Carr's only signed for another three seasons, something like that. So many other parts of the team that needs improvement, especially on the defense and offensive line. I would just go defensive, offensive line, the entire draft. Maybe another running back. They don't keep Josh Shea because he's going to get paid. But maybe that. And then just more defensive, offensive line and free agency. And then just go from there. Jacksonville is at 12. Cleveland's pick at 13 goes to Houston. So Houston will have a, have a uh, number one pick, their own. And they might get a middle first-round pick. That's a great way for them to improve that team there really quickly. 
Pittsburgh at 14. Then Seattle with another pick. Seattle's got, man, they could improve that team really quickly. They're, they got... They got a high first round pick at three at the moment. And then right in the middle of the pack at 15, their own pick. There's Gavin Tonkel for the fight and fills. And then it goes down New England, the Jets, Detroit, Tampa Bay, Tennessee, Washington, Chargers, Miami's forfeited pick for uh, tampering or whatever it was. Giants, Baltimore, San Francisco pick that goes to Denver, Cincinnati, Dallas, Kansas City, Minnesota, Buffalo, and Philadelphia. There's Leo Verpaguero to 125, 41 out of 125 for the Buccos. That's gonna go to Mark and the Pirates. Brandon Marsh for the Angels to 499. And Alexis Hernandez is our final autograph. 286 out of 299. Speckle Auto for the Cubbies. Chris Parent won that spot in the filler. I'm getting the Hernandez. Stephen Carney. No, check that. Oliver Smith with the Angels gets the Marsh Refractor. George Valera, Speckle to 299 for Cleveland. That'll be for Ed P. O'Neill Cruz. Awesome, thank you. What'd you get? Uh, I got some pasta. Ooh, some some, some uh, warm food for a, a cold day. Cold for LA. All right. There you go, gang. That was Pick Your Team 20. Pick your team 21 in the store right now. Grab your teams before they're gone or before they end up in a filler. Jaspiescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. That Jason Curio autograph. Nice. A lot of nice color. A lot of nice ink. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for Jaspiescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.